All right, guys. Welcome back to another great episode. It was a I'm... clap sync that we didn't need. <laughs> yeah, we didn't need that, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Trevor here with Ryan, and we have special guest Niall Murray Kreiberger. Hello. All right. <laughs> nice. Hello. How's it What's going? What's the name of this podcast? Oh uh, yeah, the name of this podcast is Another Great Episode. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Welcome to another great episode. Yeah, dude. Okay, no, just... I, I was like, hmm. Yeah, we're just conceited <laughs> assholes. To, to judge, but... Uh, so, another great episode podcast. Yeah, dude. And uh, do you have any... Do, do you have, like, uh, themes that you go by, or do you just kind of wing it? Uh, we normally just have... We have guests on and just uh, talk to them, asking questions. Uh, that's... Oh, just sorry, so I'm like yeah, asking we, you questions. Uh, we wing it. Yeah, we pretty much wing it. I mean, that, that's about it. That's the name of the game. That's that's the the way to go, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh. I don't think it sounds too forced. Yeah. So like, yeah. how's it going? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, living out, living down in Sacramento or up in Sacramento. Yeah. Uh, saving up now to get to LA pretty soon. I'm hoping. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now. Like, uh, Living, uh, well, right now I'm trying to do streams. Um, I've been kind of slacking lately because I had other projects that I had to do. But I'm working on cartoons, working on... Uh, basically, like, right now I was kind of working on backgrounds for a cartoon. But, like, just... But not, like, the final ones. Like, I was just kind of working on the aesthetic of the backgrounds for something I'm making. Uh, also, I'm doing stuff for a game, like uh, concept art, and possibly voices for a game, and a few other things here and there scattered throughout. Nice. So, yeah. Games Pretty are good. fun. Games are good. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we're both Florida boys, so uh, we're going to ask how's California, because... I have family there, but I've never really I was, lived there. I was in Florida. I feel like Florida and California kind of look exactly the same, except like Florida seemed a bit nicer. But like I know I've heard shit about Florida. Uh, it's not very nice. Yeah, there's but, just like, parts... there's a lot of old people here. That's yeah. So isn't that where the old people and all the like criminals go? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's actually a pretty good description. Old so, people and criminals. <laughs> Yeah. But do the criminals awesome. just rob old people all the time, or is it like, do the uh, old people fight back? Uh, the now old... that I think about it, that might be why all the criminals are here, because all Maybe. the rich old people easy, are here. Easy target. Well, what Holy they should shit. do is they should move to a state full of babies, because babies are much easier to rob than old people. Yeah, dude. That's what I think. Oh, shit, yeah. That's my theory anyway. All of our criminal audience, uh, take, take notes. Yeah. Take notes, guys. Yeah. So you haven't heard, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> You didn't hear it from me. Hell yeah. I don't want to be incriminated. But yeah, uh, like, we live in a small town, so it's mainly just old people, not as many criminals. Uh, so that's pretty good for us. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, do you guys live, like, near each other? We live in the same town, like... We, were you guys yeah. childhood best friends? Oh yeah, well... Actually, really? Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly enough. What did yeah, you we... get? What kind of kids were you guys? Were you guys, like... Uh, the nerds are the jocks. Yeah, he was an asshole. I was a nerd. Uh, I, it was it was weird. I was I was a weird hybrid because I always make the joke that I'm like six four and ripped, but I'm actually six four and kind of buff. So, so the only so, was, this, <laughs> so the difference is just you're not ripped. You're just kind of buff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. But as a kid, like, oh my god. Here's a story. I don't know if I've told you this before, or like anyone this really, but like when I was a kid, like in middle school, I just, I just realized I could act like an asshole all the time and get away with it. And the reason for that was, our our school's like a disciplinary person was our, uh, he's like the what it was the vice principal or something like that, and this guy was like, he was in on the football team at the middle school. So anytime I ever got into any kind of trouble, you'd just be like, no, Ryan, if you keep acting like this, you can't be on the football team. And I'd say, yes, I understand. And he'd be like, don't do it again. And I'd be like, yeah, I understand. And I'd go do it again. Not so it's because because of your like height and buffness, you're able to get away with uh, 
All sorts of crimes. Hell yes. Humanity. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up. I loved it. It's shown your privilege. Your privilege is shown. Yeah, oh, he's, yeah. he's a very tall, masculine white male. See, I uh, used to be short and fat. Um, <laughs> I still am. No, I'm not short. I'm like, uh, well, I'm kind. Of, I'm five eleven. It's not short, but oh, that's like my height. Huge. Yeah, that's a decent um, height. Yeah, it's it's not so bad being five eleven. I just wish I was that little, just that little grain of rice taller, just six foot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. That's all I'd want. But uh, it's a nice round number. It's not gonna happen anymore, I don't think. So I mean, I'm starting growing hairs on places I've never had them before. I'm oh, 26. Whoa. Oh sure. <laughs> started growing them. Started. Dude, I'm finding fucking hairs on my shoulders. It sucks. Oh my god, I've already got hairs on my shoulders. I yeah, well, it. you're a fucking ape though, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not though. I'm a twink. Just a little yeah. bit taller. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I was saying. I, what was I saying? I, I had a point. You were a twink? Yeah. No, before that, like long before that. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, Throwing hairs in places. Oh. Yeah. Long yeah. before that. Oh well. Oh fuck it. <laughs> oh fuck shit. It. Uh, tell I'm us. Good if... for all about five seconds. Do you have any cool childhood stories when you were growing up? Any cool childhood stories? Um. What's well, the closest? What's the closest you ever got to death as a kid? As a kid, well, yeah. when I was born. When I was born, I like came out of the the old womb with an umbilical cord wrapped around my throat. Wait, really? Oh, shit. So that wasn't so great. Shit. Another time, another time, I was like on my bike, and these sexy hot four-year-olds. I was also four, so I can say this. These, mm. they, were, <laughs> <laughs> they were like standing at the hmm. bottom of the hill, and they were just kind of looking at me, and I was like, I can impress these uh, sexy hot four-year-olds. So I just hopped on my bike. Put on my helmet. Actually, no, wait, no, 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 wait. A key part of this is I didn't put on my helmet. So I didn't put on my helmet. I sat on it, slid down the hill, tried to do tricks when I was going at the speed, like really fast, and uh, I fell off my bike and got a stone jammed in my brain. Jesus. Fuck. Well, it wasn't in my brain, but it was close, very close to my brain. And, it might um, as well be in your brain in your small, soft, four year old child skull. Oh, mother. Fucker, coming over to Florida, bitch. <laughs> Six foot four. I don't care. Uh oh. Dude, I want to see this fight now. He's gonna fight a oh, charity fight. It's what I've been telling people for the last like month. Just like I'll charity box you, bro. God. I don't actually mean it. I would love for someone to actually be like, all right, let's do it. And I'd have to be the guy to be like, oh man. Yeah, that's for me. Like I. I since I got to Sacramento, I gained weight, but like I like need a reason to lose. Like if I had a charity fight coming up, I'd be able to get like fit again. Oh shit! <laughs> so we could we could do it. Let's let's arrange it. My heart rate's going up. I'm sweating a little bit. Like <laughs> every second is a second closer to someone actually wanting to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get away with all of that shit you got away with back in high school. It's uh, coming back. Point. Well, uh -oh. he's coming back. Well, tell tell him how you punched out one of our friend's teeth. Hey, man. Um, so, <laughs> so despite all those things I was saying before about getting out of trouble for because people want to be on the football team, I ended up not playing football. I said, "Fuck it, I don't want to do that." I went on the robotics team instead in high school. The robotics team? The yeah. Robotics team. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we that's where we started talking to each other a lot more, actually. Yeah, I probably would have been on that as like. As a kid, we never we didn't have any of that in our poor ass, shitty ass Irish school. It sucked. We didn't have anything good. You had a robotics team. Yeah, dude. I mean, well, we just graduated was, too, like last year. So yeah, from high the school. Robotics team was just, it was pretty cool. I mean, the problem was like it was kind of underfunded. Like no one at the school knew it existed. Yeah. So like, did you make anything cool? Uh, yeah, we made a we made a few cool robots and stuff. Yeah, I was lead mechanic guy and he was all over the place some asshole were they fighting robots uh no uh, they were dumb like perform task robots i guess yeah. so so what everyone thinks of when they think of like robots and like building shit is like the battle bots which is what i wish we had done yeah because i remember in my college we had that battle bots club yeah 
Instead, we're a part of we were a part of this organization called First Robotics, and basically, just every year they would come up with a challenge, and they'd say, "Okay, this year you're playing a game that's kind of like soccer but with robots." And so they tell you, "Build this robot that can kick a ball at a goal or something," and you'd say, "Okay," and you'd spend two months of your high school life slaving away in a robotics room, playing with power tools and making something that probably wouldn't work. But sometimes it did work really well. Yeah. Well, I mean, like sounds pretty fun. Yeah, a couple times yeah. it did. But senior uh, year, senior year was shit though. Uh, that was that was garbage. Yeah. It's because we were in charge. <laughs> yeah. My school was just about like everybody <laughs> kicking the shit out of each other. Oh hell yeah. Shit, that that sounds really well. I don't know if that sounds fun or not. Depends. No, it was it wasn't fun. It was right, horrible. Right. Every day was horrible. It was torture. I hated school. That's what, like I think the reason why I didn't go to college, or well I did, but like I dropped out after two years. I never went back again. It's just because I hate school. Yeah. I'm, I'm 26 and I'm still like, fuck school. Yeah. Hell I, yeah. I understand that. I, I mean I'm we're just doing we just started college so like feeling it out you know. What are you college, doing? Yeah. Oh, we're, Are you studying broadcasting or like? Uh, we're both uh, engineering students, actually. <laughs> yeah, Whoa! We're engineers. We're engineers. <laughs> what engineer? What type of engineer? Uh, I'm mechanical engineering, and he's. Right now, I'm studying electrical engineering, but I want to move my graduate studies up to biomedical engineering. Whoa! I did biomedical science. Oh, dude, biomedical science—that was what my uh, major was declared as, at, like the beginning of the uh, first semester. Yeah, I did biomedical science, and then, like, I just never went into school, so... Hell yeah. Dude, biomed, it's where it's <laughs> at. Biomed, yeah. I probably would be a very rich man by now if I, like, kept at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. So, but instead, I'm poor. Speaking yeah, of education... <laughs> why... Now you get to be on our shitty little podcast. <laughs> Yay! Why, why did you think it was a good idea to hit yourself with the fluorescent bulb? Like, why... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't remember, but I, what I do remember was we were clearing out that office because we were moving. Yeah. We were getting, we were, we were getting, saying bye to the office. And uh, for, from what I remember, there was like a few fluorescent bulbs on the ground, like 10 of them. And uh, I, I, I think Stamper was talking to me. And in my head, I was like, I bet this will smash on my head, like, and not hurt. Or maybe I smashed it on something else. And then I started smashing it on my head. I can't remember, but I started smashing it on my head because I just thought it would freak Snapper out, but he loved it. <laughs> started smashing it on my head. Whoa, shit. And then, uh, dude, that shit took so long to clean up. I was there for like five hours cleaning up all the like dust particles. Like it was so fucking hard to clean up. Dude. Like, the, the, like a brush would not work with that shit. I had yeah, no, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, that would be shit. <laughs> I thought I could just sweep it up and throw it in the trash, but uh that shit like it vaporizes almost whenever you break it. That was such a horrible idea. That was the worst idea I've ever had. I still oh, have uh cool. <laughs> I still have weird like shit on my forehead from it. Oh shit. Well, now you got the good idea of doing Twitch streams and that's oh, yeah. that's working out. That's I know, but I was thinking of doing IRL Twitch like soon. Oh yeah, yeah. Then, uh... you were t talking about that, yeah. Then I discovered that, uh, you know, that Ice Poseidon guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, he gets fucked with constantly, and I'm like, maybe I won't do that. Yeah, you did. I mean, you probably have to do something more like Periscope or something it, to make it look, look like you're uh, video chatting or something. I don't know. Yeah, because that guy's life is fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just, the, about this. just the text to speech coming out when you're in a restaurant. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? oh man, that was the worst. You see that guy in China with that? Uh oh yeah yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Someone was playing like some racist <laughs> against Asian song. Yeah. And he had to listen to it all. Yeah, he was just sitting there and everyone was staring at him. <laughs> that that would happen to me, I'm telling you. Yeah. So wait, so wait, what's this? I haven't heard about this. Oh, basically Twitch streamers that well, it's essentially a Twitch streamer that goes goes in public, and then uh, people can play songs or do text to speech on the stream. That sounds that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. 
See, I would I would disable that in public. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know why they didn't. Or at least, like, had earbuds in or something, you know? I guess because it's more entertaining or whatever. Or, like, you know, more chance for something to go horribly wrong and then they get all them juicy views. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can imagine that if you put yourself on blast, potentially, you're... That's like, come on, give me money to embarrass me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like that's what that works. dude does. And fucking Andy Milanakis is doing it now, too. Yeah, I, how far he has fallen. Do you see that video of him at CVS, where he goes in and tries to buy some, I think some drugs oh, or something. Oh, some Nicorette gum? Or some gum, yeah, and they just wouldn't sell it to him, because <laughs> he, he like, looked too young. I, 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 he got mad, but it's like, dude, I know it sucks that you look young, but you do look young. Like, people won't believe you're 42, like your uh, ID says. Like, I, I know it sucks. But you can't get mad about that. <laughs> he has a disease that he literally looks like a little boy. Yeah. Shit. I mean, I I don't know. I every now and then I click on like a baited podcast just to hear some of it, but I don't ever. I sometimes do too. I don't listen to all of it normally. Uh, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, ever ever since there's all, all that drama with it, I feel like it's not really. I don't know. I thought it was sort of interesting because you get to hear like Keemstar outside of his fucking. It was uh, fine when it was uh, Colossal and uh, that other dude. Yeah, I liked that a lot. I better. actually didn't. I didn't. I didn't mind listening to it then. Even, the, but like, they go on about it like it was like the best shit ever. They're like, we literally had the best podcast on earth. I'm like, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it was all right. I'm. Mean, it's not like the best. Uh, yeah, and, and they said that they like started the format of a YouTuber doing a podcast, like or or a lot of like YouTubers doing a podcast. I'm like, uh, have you heard of Sleepy Cabin? <laughs> but I don't think Sleepy Cabin were the first ones to uh, do it either. No, it was just a really big like a lot of people followed it, but uh, I've definitely I heard podcasts a lot before as well. Uh, yeah, I, I um, well, no, 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 I mean like the whole just people gathered to get like more than one co-host or, or i don't know yeah i don't even know what i'm saying yeah we're just doing just this people that people care about listening and we're talking about bullshit I don't know. yeah we, we just do this for fun like yeah it's just to get our friends together and talk to people and hang out oh that's how you do it yeah that's that's the way to go yeah yeah because like dude once you start doing something as a business everything goes down you know <laughs> yeah. oh man once, if you start making money from this, you guys are gonna hate each other after like a month. <laughs> yeah, before oh, that happens, <laughs> I was I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you did you know that me and Trevor were roommates? Oh, I haven't no. I haven't talked to, about any of that with Niall. Yeah. Okay. So I literally so... just met you guys. Yeah. Now. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, I, be so... Before now, I was just a Twitch just viewer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but you were a loyal easy. Twitch viewer. Yeah, it was. Loyal <laughs> Twitch viewer. Yeah, so good. I said I'd do your podcast. Yeah. Because you help me out, I help you out. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Anyway. That's how I am. Oh, yeah. Wait, so you I guys remember. Are yeah. That's funny. Because I remember uh, fucking. I would just be hanging out. Yeah. So we both. We go to the same university. And we're roommates. Because just like. We knew each other from high school. And we were like. I don't want to fucking live with some rando piece of shit that I'm going to hate. So I'd rather live with someone who I do know. I kind of hate. And I'm going to hate. <laughs> yeah. And so it's fucking hilarious. Like a few months ago, we're just hanging out or I'm in my room and he's in his room. And he just like, he knocks on my door. He's like, Ryan, Ryan. I'm like, what? He says, dude, I just talked with Niall from sleep again. And I'm like, all right, shut the fuck up. Because... <laughs> I don't know why. All of a sudden, <laughs> it started going on people's streams, and everyone started talking to him. I, That's because he's a cool guy. See, people, I like, I, I like you, because why did I say that like boy? I like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say, I liked you because you were normal. Like, you know, you get some weirdos, but so when there's someone that seems kind of normal, it's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I, I just do my best to like get my okay, like normal questions in the the spam of the of the chat i guess yeah uh and just like talk to the streamer instead of just barraging them with whatever the fuck now send me your dick also no also have my babies yeah no. don't <laughs> don't do that but yeah so you 
Uh, so you, whenever you first came to America, how was that? Like, how was your journey? Uh, well, basically, basically, I dropped out of college, as I was saying, and uh, I knew my parents were not going to be too pleased, so I moved to the continent. <laughs> and uh, I already had a girlfriend who lived in America, so I was like, sweet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go there, cause it's like near. I, I had friends over near there too, and I was born in New York, and like, so I moved to like kind of between New Jersey and Philly, which was close. So I was like, okay, this is a pretty good place to go. And uh, what well, one Pico Day, I went to Pico Day, <laughs> and uh, that's how I met Chris and all those guys, and uh, we just kept in touch, and then I. Ended up living with Chris in Wexford, in Ireland, and then back to Philly, and then we did Sleepy Cabin here. I am. So that's that's pretty much how it went. But like, it's weird because wh- how old are you guys? Like twenty? Uh, he's nineteen. I'm eighteen. Yeah, about- uh, I was like I was like twenty when like all of this like like when I started animating. I think I was nineteen or twenty, and I was like doing that biomedical science course, and I hated it. I was like, I just want to animate. So I like learned how to do it. Then I became a fan of everybody, all those like online dudes. And uh, I don't know, the rest just happened. So what you're telling me is I need to drop out of biomedical engineering, learn how to animate and flee the country. Dude, this what everything I did is the worst idea. It's a horrible idea. I, I'm a retard, don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. I, Cause no, I'm just I'll the just... kind of person, I'll just do, I, I just do whatever I like. <laughs> I love that story it's because like, half, it doesn't halfway hurt through, people. I'm just thinking to myself, drop out of college, flee the continent. Yeah, that's oh, what I did. Profit. That's literally what I did. I just flee. I just fled, and uh, I mean, I still live here. I mean, Ryan keeps talking about wanting to go to college right. in fucking Germany, like, and uh, I don't know. Like, you said there's free there's free college in Germany, right? Oh yeah, there was a while when I was like fixated on moving to another country and going to college for free yeah i don't think it's that easy though i think you need to be a citizen or else you have to pay to america like because i looked that shit up too Mm -hmm. i don't know it's way easier just to fucking sit where i am and just study because it doesn't fucking matter where i go to college as long as now you're gonna have like a million dollar student loans in america well i mean like ryan and i got lucky we've we both have scholarships, so... What? Yeah. 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 The state pays for the team? Cool. Uh, well, that's part of it. I mean, uh, we got this Florida uh, Bright Future scholarship uh, just for, like, good grades and shit. And then I got a scholarship from our college that we go to. That's, like, an- another boost just for good grades. Uh, so, like, a lot of our shit's already paid for. The state gave me a grant. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. You guys oh, by the way, we may or may not be smart. A, a little bit. So you guys are smart guys. What's yeah. what's uh what's pi squared? Pi squared. <laughs> yeah. Know, like, it's like it's pi squared. Nine point something. Yeah. Yeah. Nine point some bullshit that I don't want to calculate. You you just you just did three squared. Well, yeah, that's... you didn't do pi squared. Pi is, pi is like 3.14. Yeah, you didn't do the one four part. That's the hard part. That's not. <laughs> yeah. It is the hard part. Oh, You're a smart God. fraud. Wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. No, pi can also be abbreviated to 22 over 7, right? If it's well, 22 over 7, you can just square both of those. It's less accurate, but you're onto something. Go on. Oh, yeah. You do can it. just square that. So, uh, what's 22 squared? It's like. 400 and... 404. Yeah, 404? Yeah, 404. Oh, yeah, it is 404. Four, so 404 over 49. Yeah. I guess that's... that's There's the math. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Uh, you were close. It's 484. 484? Four, is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Whoa. Shit. It's uh, pretty good. Whatever. Right. <laughs> close so, uh, enough. <laughs> Still not oh, as yeah, smart as me. Man. That's that's how you know if someone's smart. Just ask them what pi squared is. <laughs> they can kind of gauge. I'll give you guys IQs about 112. Oh shit. Mine's still 180. 
Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Mine, catch up one day. Mine's like 140 right now. Yeah, from what? Facebook? Facebook IQ test? Uh, from... Bullshit! From... Yeah. <laughs> shit, I haven't yeah. taken an IQ test since I was in kindergarten. I took one in second grade. And that was about it. I keep saying I want to take another one. I don't want to, because I'm probably going to be, like, fucking really stupid now. Like... Yeah, all those all those years of YouTube are, are rotted our brain cells. Dude, man, yeah. Too many uh, my, my brain has been rotted just from too much of... Too much computer. I used to be smart, too. Fucking, I was, I was on my path to being a doctor. And now I'm, like, an idiot. That's what happens. Now you're an internet doctor. <laughs> an internet... Well, not really. You're just an, oh, you're just, you're just an internet boy. Just an internet. I'm just an internet. Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's not a bad thing to be. Yeah. One internet. In the market for it. <coughs> so I don't have, think anyone wants to. I don't want to die. Have you invested in Bitcoin at all? No, the people fuck? keep asking me that lately, though. Uh, I did buy Bitcoin at some point. Uh, I forgot my password to the wallet, so... <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm a few... I, I'd say a few hundo. I don't even know how much I bought. It was in 2013. I'm probably a millionaire for all I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, it fluctuates so much, it's like... You could check it one day and have like one cent. And then another day, it's like a million bucks. It's like... It's like whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just cash out when it's a million bucks? I should have just invested in Bitcoin instead of going to college. <laughs> just buy one Bitcoin. You're good. I'd have way more money and I wouldn't have to deal with you. Yeah... There's this shady guy living next door who has this huge fucking dog and like he was telling me about um he, he I don't know he was like tweaking out and he was telling me about like his Bitcoin wallet getting fucking stolen and shit. I don't know, I think I can hear him coming down the stairs like his <laughs> Okay, I can I can't talk. Oh, shit. I literally think he may have heard me. Oh no. Okay. One second get it, I'm sorry. Oh shit. The sound of slamming on the door, shouting, and gunshots. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Fuck. He's getting in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking your house. You heard you mention him and uh, his Bitcoin wallet. He's like, was it you? I'm going to die on the Another Great Episode podcast. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Well, rest in peace, Niall. We can... Oh, my God. I just realized we can uh, we can name this podcast Nile fucking dies and we can clickbait people. <laughs> I literally oh, die yeah. in this episode. Yeah. You can hear my blood gargling down my throat, my fucking my debt rattle. Oh yeah. You said you live in Sacramento. Yeah. Dude, that's where a lot of my uh, my dad's family lives. Really? That's where he's from. Why? I. I why do they choose to live in Sacramento? I have no idea. All he told me is that, like, way back when he was growing up, it was fine. But now, apparently, it's, like, really shit. Fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Nothing to do in Sacramento. It's nothing new fucking here. Like, apparently, the the fucking original Vans uh, guy, like, his store was in Sacramento or, like, near Sacramento. Oh, like the shoes? Vans? Yeah. The skate shoe? Yeah. And he, he used to, like, get, he used to get, like, custom Vans from this guy. But he fucking wore them all out because he was a skateboarder and a biker. Yeah, shit, sure, dude. Those are probably pretty, pretty valuable. Yeah. In this day and age. And Old was, school vans. People was, love vans. I like vans. They're comfy. I don't even skate. Yeah, I... They're kinda, they were kind of my go-to. I wear them and, like, I talked to this one guy from Canada. And he's like a hardcore skater. And I told him I wear vans. He's like, that's fucking bullshit. You should wear this shit. And I'm like, why? And he's like... If you're a serious oh. skater, you should wear this shit. And I'm like, I'm not a skater. <laughs> yeah, what? And he's like, oh, um, fuck you then. I just wear because they're comfy and I, I like their design. I like how they just easily slip on and they look kind of cool and they're just, they're just cool. I yeah, dude. Know. I've been meaning to grab myself a pair of Vans slip-ons because I just got like a couple pairs of Converse right now. And I want something <laughs> I can just not have to untie and retie every time. Vans or Timberlands. Timberland's pretty good. The boot. Oh yeah, and yeah, my dad has. Timberland boot. My dad has a couple of those. They're my go-to's. Can't go wrong. But uh, I wanna, yeah. So I wanna move to fucking LA, but uh, it's expensive. Yeah, you got your. Ask, 
Got your Nile uh, Don't Live Under a Bridge fund. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that but that's mainly to like like I'm trying to save um money from that, but like my bills get paid with that too and shit, so it's like not really saving a whole lot. I have to figure out something else. I still wanna stream every day though. That's the goal. I yeah. just like streaming. Yeah, well yeah. uh you said you had, well you do commissions too, right? Uh yeah. Well I'm closed in commissions right now. I'm oh. closed. All right. Uh, because I've like, I'm I'm behind, I'm like far behind, <laughs> in commission. Oh. So like, I don't want to uh, piss more people off. Oh shit! I've gotten some angry emails, like deservedly so, just because I'm slow at commissions. I've got a fair few. Ah uh, well, I mean, I'll get there eventually, right? Oh, I'm I'm hacking through them. Yeah, I'm like I'm just just doing the daily grind. I like in the morning I'll like draw a bit. Then uh, I'll go for a walk. Then I'll do commissions uh, for like a couple of hours. And then I'll probably stream and go to bed. It's not very eventful. Hmm. Yeah. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty nice, honestly. It's pretty good life. Pretty pretty yeah. chill. Yeah, Ryan and I. I like having a little schedule like that. When we were in college, we went on walks like every other night, just around like at two a.m. Dude, I love going for walks. I go for th I go for a walk, like probably three times a day. It's my favorite. I just pop in like a podcast or some music or something. Oh, I just yeah. go for a walk, and oh, then I buy fun. I'll buy like a, ci a cigar or something, and I will walk home with a cigar. Not a cigar. It's like a, a black and mild. It's like a cigar, yeah. small like thing. Cigarello. Cigarello. Yeah. yeah. I'll just like walk home with that while listening to something. I'm just like. Ah. And then I'll come home and I'll just draw for the rest of the day. And it's all sunny out now. And it's just great. I can just like draw, look out the window, go for walks. It's pretty good. Yeah, what do you what do you normally listen to? Like uh what, what, um, kind, what kind of music? I, I, <laughs> well, oh, uh, music. I, I've just been listening to Tenacious D lately. Oh, just dude. like I love Tenacious D so much. Dude, like, I, lis I listen to that in the car like every day. Me too. I, I listen to it. Every, I listen to it all the time. Like if I discover new music, I like listen to that for a week. But then I'll always find myself coming back to the D. Yeah, dude. And then like, um, so I listen to that, or I listen to like the Joe Rogan podcast, or like Pete Holmes. I I, I mainly listen to like comedian podcasts, or like sometimes Radio Lab. They have interesting podcasts. Uh, I listen to my friends' podcast. Uh, you know the uh, Recapitate. Yeah, yeah, you were just on that, right? Yeah, I was just on that, and um, I listen to that sometimes. Or like the Almost Adults podcast, another podcast. Might even listen to this one now. Yeah. I don't know, I just do, if someone asks me to do a podcast, I like doing them. I like sitting down and just chatting. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I like doing it. How long does this one go on for? Uh, we try to know, hit like, like an hour. Like an hour, yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty, that's the standard. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We just sort of hour. talk about shit. Uh, I I listen to like uh, well, I listened to Sleepy Cast whenever it was out, uh, and I also listen to the official podcast right now with a. Uh, That's a critical one, right? Yeah, with critical. Yeah. Is that was that you That's that was funny. talking about? Yeah, I I was trying to me. I was trying to contact them and see if they wanted to have you as a guest or something because I think you would like them. I, I I would like them. Yeah, I like Critical a lot. He's really funny, but like. I don't know if they know me or anything so I don't yeah well I, I was talking to one of them just like uh a guy named jackson the australian guy and i told him about you he's like yeah i don't know who that is but i'll i'll check him <laughs> out <laughs> and i'm like oh shit <laughs> and i can't well, it just blows my mind sometimes whenever like trevor just knows all these random people from the internet uh, how do you know all these people i just watch their streams and like talk to them on their streams and discord and shit uh, you're just dedicated yeah, well, it's just like whenever I'm like sitting at home, I'm just like playing fucking, like I don't know, fucking Minecraft or some shit, and I just close <laughs> that. Nerd. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I uh, I like Minecraft. I I really I I play Minecraft, but like just the like old school beta Minecraft. I think I talked about that on uh, my stream. I just play like I play like 2011 version of Minecraft. I don't know why. I just really like that version. Yeah, we Ryan and I play mod packs of different yeah, shit. Yeah, we just we mod the shit out of Minecraft. We just do all kinds of stuff. 
do you play like I don't know. Once they started getting villagers and stuff, I started losing interest because, like, the appeal for me was that you were kind of alone and you felt like this sense of like loneliness in this like huge infinite world. And then like you build your base and then monsters come out and you have to survive. I don't know. I just like that whole thing. I wasn't a fan of like just what it is now. It's basically like Counter Strike now, isn't it? <laughs> Counter Strike. Yeah. Yeah, they added a bunch Holy of fucking... Shit. Well, like, the mods that we do, like, they add, like, magic shit to the game. So it's, like, really yeah. fun. Wait, magic shit? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, uh, one's called Thumbcraft. You just basically become a fucking wizard. Yeah. Thumbcraft. Yeah, and um... it, it's, it's, like, a lot of fun. Like, the, the mod spawns in a bunch of shit and makes, like, new yeah. biomes. Yeah, there's all kinds of new biomes and stuff like that. And I get what you're saying with about the villagers and stuff. Yeah, it's just, I, just, I feel like that takes takes away for it from it. For all me. the more, all the more reason to, as soon as you find a village, just slaughter all of them. <laughs> That's probably what I would do. And then you just run in like later on. You're like, oh, dude, there's all these pre-generated houses, and just there's no one there. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I, that's what I used to do in Skyrim all the time. I loved playing as an evil bastard, just going around slaughtering oh. everybody. Yeah, I remember sometimes in Skyrim, I would like save the game and then just kill everyone in a town and then reload it. <laughs> no, I, 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 do you ever, do, do you see the, the cheat room mod for Skyrim? No, I haven't. Is this mod called cheat room and you can, it just like teleports you to this room? Where you can just like it, it has all these like buttons and stuff on the wall and like all of these items and all of these weapons where you can just like get whatever weapon you want you can just upgrade a skill any skill you want you can just like you can even upgrade your height and like i just made my guy fucking huge i gave him like the best armor i was basically sauron and i was just walking around like just slaughtering everybody and i was like i have <laughs> <laughs> so, a bit of fun oh, yeah. today. nice and then i went back to my good boy character Dude, I got a funny story about Skyrim, actually. Uh, so I, I was just chilling in college, and my dad called me, and, like, during that time, a bunch of bad shit was happening, so I was, like, worried he was like another bad thing was happening. And, yeah. uh, and he called me, and he's just like, son, I know this is going to sound weird. And I'm like, oh, shit, please don't be another bad thing. He's like, I just started playing Skyrim. What's the best race to pick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like... man, I have like a heartbreaking story like that. <laughs> God, I have like a story that's like every time I think about it, I like I, I feel upset about it. Like, cause like I don't know, my <laughs> my dad used to like bring me. My dad is the nicest man ever. He's just so nice. And like one day he, every day he'd come back from work and he'd just like bring me a new game mm -hmm. for like the PlayStation. But they'd always be cheap games because we weren't rich or anything. They'd always be games you'd find in the bargain bin or whatever. Yeah. And like, he brought home this one. Oh man. Oh god. He brought home this one game called that. Uh, it was like <laughs> Viking Battle for Asgard or something. It was called, I think. Uh, <laughs> wait, I need to find the name. Uh, I don't know. It was a game no one played. A shitty game. Mm -hmm. Viking Battle for Asgard. That's what it was called. And. Uh, mm -hmm. My dad would play it because uh, he, he, he's not like a gamer, but like he, he plays some games sometimes. Uh, my mom would usually kind of yell if he was playing games. <laughs> He'd be like, hey, what are you doing? And uh, But anyway, one day, what, one day he just stopped playing it. And uh, he knew I didn't play it that much because the game really sucked. It just sucked so bad. But I, I play it sometimes just to make him feel good about getting me the game. And then oh. like... <laughs> Well, one day I was just like Skyrim came out and I was playing it like all day long. I was playing it so often Then my dad like walks in. He's like, is that Viking? And I was like, <laughs> I was oh. like oh, uh, No, <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh shit. It's, uh, it's it's he's like, oh Then I try to teach him how to play Skyrim. He seemed to like it. Nice. We never got it. Is that Viking? He's like, is that Viking? And I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> it's, I will, he will be crushed. Let's just pretend like he has glasses, like takes them off and like wipes them. He's like. <laughs> I like a similar, because like a similar thing happened to me when I was a kid when my dad used to teach me how to draw. 
Uh, like he wasn't an artist, but he just wanted to teach me how to draw anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of passed him out at one point <laughs> when I was like five. <laughs> and like, he was like, this is how you draw. He was like, every day he'd be like, okay, so this is how you draw a horse. And then he just like kind of, I don't know, draw a basic horse. But uh, one day he's like, this is how you draw a snail. And then I was like, I know how to draw a snail. And then I did the old swirl thing. He's oh, like, yeah. oh, well, you already know. And he's like, no, you already know. It's okay. I was like, no, teach me again. Stuff like that always happens. Oh, dude, it's tell the saddest stories of both dads for some reason. Dude, tell me, <laughs> tell me about how your dad is literally Steve Irwin. Oh my dad! Oh my god! So there's this picture of my dad. Literally. Well, I, he, fuck. He looks like Steve Irwin. No, he's not. He looks like Steve Irwin. No, no. All right. So <laughs> when I was like, when I was like five or six, uh. I took a picture with my dad after we went fishing one day because so my dad's like one of those really outdoorsy guys he like all he used to do like all, every weekend was he would drink beer on his boat and go fishing and like Whoa. so this man was like he his skin is permanently red just he doesn't have any other skin color other than that would do it yeah absolutely burnt red and he's still like that and it, but his hair was like white like shock white and so there's this picture of him just like hanging out with me, holding like two uh, red snapper in his hands. And just the way his hair looks, he looks almost exactly like Steve Irwin. And so... Like... Hmm? I was gonna say like, he, he's like, looks, he's just red and white. He looks like Santa Claus. Yeah, actually. Oh, he Steve also, Irwin. he played Santa, or he, uh, he dressed up like Santa Claus for <laughs> really? one year at like a, a mall. Yeah. Is he like, is he jolly? He's, he actually is. He Pretty really jolly. is. He's like, every time I talk to him on the phone, I, I'm like, hello. And he says, hey, Ryan. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the way he talks. And he actually does. He laughs like that too. <laughs> Wait, so is your dad just Santa? Also Steve my dad's, Irwin? My dad's Santa mixed with Steve Irwin. Weird. Like weekdays, he's Santa Claus. But like on the weekends, whenever he goes out on his boat, he transforms into Steve Irwin. Whenever he goes wrestling alligators. Yeah, and but the thing is, he's like he's, he has a huge like pot belly too, so he just oh my god, he's he's a really good Santa Claus. Like so he's not Santa. he's not kind of buff like you. Uh, he's he's got some he's got some meat on his bones, but it, that's the weird thing. He's he's like a normal human being on his arms, legs, and like head, but his stomach just kind of juts out an extra foot. He's got like a barrel chest, or is it just his? It's just his gut. It's just from like, all the he... all the beer and all the 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 bitches and all the the bass. Hell yeah! <laughs> he just concentrated bitches. all of his fat into his gut and just expanded it outwards. So I'm sure if he like if he sucked in his stomach, he'd like he'd look like some weird suave old dude. I'm sure he'd people like, are into hey, that. I'm sure there's some 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 guys that are into that. Some gay yeah. boys. Shit. Oh, whoa. They're really into that. You're probably right. <laughs> Steer clear of my my pops, folks. <laughs> no, they're now. all gonna they're all gonna come after him. They're coming after him now. Uh oh. And he's gonna love it. Oh no. <laughs> Be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Crocky! <laughs> my dad boxed in high school, he could probably knock out anyone who tried to come after him. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, oh. I know a man who likes to sit at, like fish. White you know, claw. fish drink beer. It kind of sounds like a manly man. He might be able to kind of tell. Yeah. yeah. Also, he was like a child psychologist for a really long time, and so he specialized in like delinquents. Uh... So, so like, there was a period of time we'd come back like every day with bruises and shit, and he just had to like hold down all these delinquent kids that were trying to like fight him. Um. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't trying to fight him, dude. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Dude. Should we tell him? Sure, uh, should we tell him? Yeah, just call him up really quick, Ryan. I'm gonna call okay. my dad. What if I called my dad right now? You should do it. I haven't talked to him in a couple days. Tell him you're doing a podcast. That'll be the first the first ever dad call. <laughs> you want a dad cameo? Sure. I'm about to do it. Dad cameo. Dad. Right, here it is. <laughs> He's not gonna oh. hear you guys, but you have to tell him um, that you love him. 
Ask him for money. Ask him for five bucks. Dude, Ren's no. is, Ren's dad is so nice though. Like, can you hear him? Can you? Hey. What you doing? Not much. I'm just hanging out, talking with some friends. What are you doing? Oh, just got ready to go take a shower. Nice. Yeah. How was your day? It was pretty good. Yeah. Did you get the Christmas tree yet? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get it? Oh, it's coming along pretty good. I'm. Uh, I got a few days off. I go back on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him you're recording a podcast. All right, that's enough for that. Did you just hang up on your dad? No. No, he's he just put him off speaker, I think. Oh, yeah. I was like, Jesus, dude, he's, he's so, so nice. <laughs> How was your day going? Right. And then you like, <laughs> See ya. Hang up. Everything else going good? Everything's going good. Good deal. You know I love you. I love you too. Alright. You have a good one. Alright. Um, and I, I'm sure I'll talk to you, but uh, anyway, I won't be out of pocket from Wednesday afternoon until Thursday. Alright. Great sweetheart. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. My dad's a sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Calls me sweetie pie. Heart. Yeah, uh, I love that man. Damn, he was so nice. I thought you just hung up on him at one point. No, 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 no. He was. He started. He started talking about uh, I like a doctor's appointment that was going on. And so I was like, all right, somewhat sensitive information. <laughs> all right, we're back. Hey, just try. You can't get deep enough down my prostate. Oh, enough of that. God. Oh my God, that's another story I could tell. So, oh my God. So, no, no, no. no okay, so, <laughs> My dad, my dad's 65. My dad's 65 years old this year, or he's 66 this year, actually. My dad's 55. Yeah, my dad's kind of old. He was kind of old whenever I was born. But anyway, so he had to go get his like he had to go get his prostate checked, right? Because he's getting to the time whenever like he's you want to be on, you want to be on top of that, and so he had to get a colonoscopy done. So my dad, they they put him under. And they they stick the the fucking the the fucking tunnel snake up his ass so they can check him out with the camera, right? And so it's going great for all about ten or so minutes. And then my dad, being the absolute elephant that he is, just muscles through the anesthesia and wakes up halfway through the procedure. Oh no! And he's like, oh man, two two he's hanging like, out his ass and stuff. Like. Tube hanging out of his ass. He's like, guys, why why am I awake? And they're like, uh, uh, uh sir. <laughs> and so I don't remember what happened from there. I can't remember if they put him back under or anything like that. Just I remember my dad managed to muscle through the anesthesia and wake up halfway through his colonoscopy. Oh man, that I don't know if I told this story on the podcast on the Sleepy Cast, but uh, when I was when I was I think I was fifteen. I didn't want to go to school, so I pretended I was sick. I said I had a pain in my stomach. And they brought me to the doctor. Oh, no. And oh, the doctor, shit. like, the doctor, like, kind of pressed down on my stomach. And at one point, he was like, does it hurt here? And I was like, uh, yeah. He goes, yeah, you have appendicitis. And I have to get that thing checked out. So, like, just because I was faking it, I, had to, I got my appendix out. I went through. I went all the way. I powered through. Shit. And, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, they just reached in, they fucking grabbed it, and the anesthesia didn't work the first time. Oh no. So like, yeah, it was a bit, it kind of sucked, oh. but it was worth the five days off school. I was going to ask, was it worth it? <laughs> it was worth it, I got five days off school. You just You just trade your appendix for five days out of school? I couldn't walk, but uh, it was Halloween was coming up, and I really wanted to go out for Halloween. So I snuck out and I like crawled to like the big park. To, like I was dedicated to going out that night. Whoa. Oh yeah, what's what's the age that you stopped doing Halloween? Cause like. Uh... Um. I stopped. I stopped it for a few years and then started it again. Uh, I don't know. Like, my girlfriend, she's 23, and she still she went trick or treating like this year with her brother, who's like 21, and I was like, whoa. I just thought that, like the people in America are different. Uh, but I like stopped when I was like 14 or 15, hmm. I think. Yeah, same. Yeah, I... Maybe 
Maybe. I didn't want to. No, I don't think I did it when I was 16. But uh, I just steal everybody else's candy. Looking or, back, I'm, I'm I let them do the bitch stopping. work. <laughs> I let them nice. do all the bitch work and then uh, sneak in and take all the nice stuff and leave them with the, the peanuts. I fucking hate giving people candy for Halloween. <laughs> oh, God. I'm a greedy bastard. I'm like, man, I don't want to give out this. I want to eat this myself. Yeah, Dude. especially like, because they always want the nice the nice things. They always want the fucking yeah. Reese's. What? You can't. You can't give them a bowl to pick out of because they'll just they'll just grab all the good shit and then they'll leave the bad. They'll leave you with those fucking whoppers or whatever. Yeah, those those stale ass whoppers. fucking whoppers. I fucking hate whoppers. You, you gotta stick your hand through the mailbox with like one piece of candy every time they knock on the door and just like hand it to them. Uh, Did you guys ever do a trick? Uh, God no. No, but I I stopped like a year ago because my I have a younger brother and like he still does. Or he still does it, I think. Uh, but, like, I still went with him. And it wasn't as fun, because he had all his friends, and I was just there with all these little kids. And I was like... How old is he? Right now, he's, like, 14. Uh, but... Uh, I mean, I think he's stopping this year, probably. I don't know. He's a kid at heart, though, so he might not. Yeah, well, I am, too. Um, but it's just I might get arrested. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I have to worry about. Knock on someone's door like trick or treat, and they just like just slam the door. I'm like trick or treat. <laughs> I never, I never got like what people did for like the trick part. You I... like throw eggs at your house. Oh, that's, the main oh. One. that's a crime. <laughs> the main one is some eggs. What the fuck? Yeah, we we talked about toilet or TPing someone's house. I don't know if it was with you, Ryan, but like. I talked to someone about doing that, but we never, like, went through with it. Dude, I, I, I once did it, and I got the best shot ever. I, I threw two eggs at a house, and both of them hit the window that I wanted on the upper floor, and it's just made the most satisfying splat. And uh, I was like, oh, this was just great. Ran away. They came out. Because the parents were, we, we thought they were cunts. We thought that the parents were a bitch, so they deserved it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came out and they started crying, and I felt so guilty. Oh God! That it like it like haunted me. Shit. I was like talking to all the other kids who knew, kids who had like evidence, and they or they just knew too much. I was like, you better not fucking tell anybody that was me. <laughs> oh my God! I was like, I was like, I was like, there was this big conspiracy. Uh, I don't think I think I I was actually somehow successful. No one told on me. Like, they're like a, a good, like, seven kids, and one of those little rat kids are gonna get caught and squeal on me, but for some... Somehow, they didn't. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Huh. Dude, I remember, uh... When I was... I lived in New Mexico for a couple of years, because my, my dad is in the Air Force, and we, we had to move sometimes. Uh, and that was, like... I was, like, 14, and one of my neighbors is like, Hey, you like YouTube, right? And I was like, Yeah, I like YouTube. He's like, here's this great other website called RedTube. Go check it out. It's just like YouTube. It's great. And I was like, all right. And that's how I first like, found porn. I first found porn because uh, I, have the, I have this friend uh, called Eamon. And uh, he was like one of my best <laughs> friends as a kid. But he was always like a little bit more advanced than me in, like, in pretty much every way. He was like, I feel like he was a little bit smarter than me. He was, or like, he was just... He was just smarter in a different way like he was just more aware of the world like i was more sheltered he was more like aware of the world he he he, he used to steal from me and stuff he, i don't know there's this guy he was just he was always he was a bit of a schly bastard i always say that he was pretty much just eric cartman just imagine he was just eric cartman <laughs> nice and like yeah he was the guy who introduced me to porn but uh he in introduced me to porn in the form of like sto stories so i thought porn was just like text stories and i used to like read them all the time and get horny from that but <laughs> yeah then when i discovered real porn i was i was i was quite surprised it yeah. was uh it was it was it was a, quite the treat i it was xnxx.com was my go-to oh, website of oh. choice as a kid that big obnoxious blue one that looks still looks the same to this day oh yeah, oh, yeah. no i know um <laughs> that was that was the 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 site of, of choice now now it's pretty much just a uh, porn hub i think can't go wrong with the hub. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Or maybe. 
I don't know. Actually, yeah, pretty much just the hub. Or Tumblr sometimes, because they have like really specific stuff. If you're in the mood for something really specific, just type it into Google and write Tumblr afterwards, and there'll be like a page full of it. Yeah, I, I always go on Tumblr some, well, for some shit. Like, always. Just it, like if you wanted like hairy feet on petite, blonde, <laughs> female, <laughs> you can just type that in and it'll come up. Yeah. Not that I'm into what that. A- what a world I'm not, we live I'm not, in today. I'm not into that. I swear I'm not into that. Oh, yeah. Isn't it great that we live in a world where... <laughs> it is. Any, it's pretty good. Any specific... Like, if you're in the mood for this specific thing, you want... <laughs> you can basically do a uh, fucking... I mean, cave, like, cavemen would, like... Cavemen would kill for that. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, you yeah. basically just design your own porno and it exists. Dude, yeah. I was so scared as a kid that, like... If I looked up any of that shit, that my parents would just, like, immediately see it on their fucking survey screen or whatever because like i thought they had like a surveillance room of like some fucking screen that was just on my computer and they're just like oh he's on the porn website <laughs> gotta oh, go when i was young when i was when i was a kid i think i must have been about 11. i was i was i was like one of those computer whiz kid kids you know like the kid in school who just knows everything about computers yeah and like so i thought i, I was getting a bit too cocky and uh one day I looked up, I, and I, I think I was between the ages of 9 and like 11, I might, it might have been 10, I'd say 10, uh, I had a dial up, dialed it up, went to Google, uh, typed in Britney Spears naked, <laughs> that was, like I didn't know what else to type, I was a kid, yeah. Britney Spears was the rage, so I typed in Britney Spears naked and my dad walked in, and I like covered the screen, like I minimized it, but I covered like because back then, when you minimize something, it would still say the name of it at the bottom of the bar. Oh, yeah. Like, at the little taskbar, it, it would have, like, you know, Internet Explorer, and then it would say, like, it would be, like, Britney Spears naked, or, like, N-A-K dot 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 or whatever. <laughs> and I just covered that, and my dad was like, what is that? What is that? And I was like, oh, like he wasn't like, yelling at me, but I was like, nothing! Nothing! <laughs> and then he, he, like, pulled my arm off, because he was much, because he has dad strength. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> dad I was like, strength. It's a pop-up. It was a pop-up. And he's like, but it literally says Google search. Right <laughs> and I was like, it was still a pop-up, okay? But uh, I was Gosh. so embarrassed about that. But now to the, now I'm like, that was probably when my dad realized I wasn't gay. He was probably like, sweet. But um, <laughs> Read out a sigh of relief. And I found his porn later on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, for my dad, for, I don't know. I caught him bringing, I caught him bringing in a disc of porn, a CD disc of porn from the garage. I was like, what, the, what is that you have there? And then he said like, he made up some name or, or he just told me some random movie. And that, but I knew, I knew what it was. And then I saw where he hid it. And then I went up later when he went to bed and I like got it and it was like some like, some porn. But uh, he had this like, he, he had this like disc sleeve folder thing. Just full of like DVDs of porn, like just full of them and I found them. Shit. And I found him, and I confronted him about it. I don't know <laughs> why. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it was funny or something. Uh. Like, Dad, what's this? And then he grabbed it off me, and he just put it in the car. But, like, he had it, like, just open. He had it just open in the bedroom. In, was, his, in his room. It was just a test. Like there. It, was just... it was a test of strength. He counted it. He counted it later on. and was like, did he steal any of it? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah. No, my dad never. I don't think my dad ever looked at porn. I think my dad might have been a saint. <laughs> God. A saint? That man's a saint. Oh, he's Saint Nick. Oh God. Oh shit. Oh shit. shit. His name isn't Nick, is it? It's not. It's it's Greg, but. <laughs> no, he's. That's not even, that's not even close to Nick. Yeah, he's not. He's he's not a saint, but he's he's still a pretty nice guy. Oh yeah, let's. Uh... He sounded he sounded delightful. Oh yeah. I really, really quick, uh, just to get off of this whole dad porn topic. <laughs> dad bashing. Uh, <laughs> this is the dad cast. Yeah, I, oh, I was gonna ask, like, how do you stay motivated with a lot of your work? Cause like you, you do a lot of uh, of streaming and commissions and. Uh, um, shit. it's not even like, dude. I, I wish I was more motivated. I'm like, I'm slow as fuck. Uh, but um. What I try to do is like, instead of just doing like, I'll do an hour of this, I'll do an hour of that. I would just like try to 
get i'll just have like things to do for the day just think of things to do it's like i just want to do these two i, I want to do two commissions i want to stream and uh i want to get whatever else in today so i'll just try i'll just make it happen because hmm. like at the end of the day it's in my control it's just really like I, again i have add it's really hard for me to focus on things which i'm going to the doctor about on the 9th of june by the way oh nice oh. um so hopefully they can hook me up with some fucking add assistance uh, nice. Yeah, I... drugs, basically drugs, meds, <laughs> and then I'll be, and then I'll be like the, I don't want, I don't want to like be on them every day or anything. I just want to like you know the odd time where I'm like I just can't work. I'll take one. Yeah, yeah. I have a friend that like his parents forced him to take that medication, and he just became mm. like, like a a fucking plank. Like he didn't have any emotion. Yeah, if that starts happening, then I bail. Yeah, completely bail. Like I don't want that to yeah. happen. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think you're lucky because you'd have people that would just like probably notice and tell you if that happened or you'd probably yeah because i'm open about everything so people would know that i'm like taking shit i don't know yeah it's, yeah but that's how i stay that's how i stay motivated is just like i know i have to do i know i have to, i have stuff to do like people are counting on me so i uh like i'm editing stuff for some people too and uh like i have to, if i don't get that done I'll be fucked and I'll never be hired again. So that kind of motivates me. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I'm I'm starting out editing just for this podcast, like getting experience. Dude, yeah, like that's how I did it too. I I didn't know no, I didn't know how to edit before I edited the podcast, uh, Sleepy Cabin. I actually I edited only plays. That's where I kind of learned how to do it. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, I learned a lot more doing Sleepy Cabin. So yeah, you just I, I'm self-taught as well. You'll figure it out and then start. What do you use? Do you use After Effects? Uh, oh, no, not After Effects. Do you use Sony Vegas? Yeah, I use Sony Vegas. Yeah, yeah, that's what I used to use, Sony Vegas. And then I started learning After Effects recently, and it's so good. And Yeah, I, I we used Audacity like to record audio before, but now I'm, I'm trying out OBS to see how that works. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, OBS is pretty... Yeah, the first few like episodes were on this weird like third party uh, Skype recording software. <laughs> and that was all, oh, whoo. That's shit. Mm. I don't that know, the, the, way, the way that uh, most people do it nice. when I go on podcasts is like, I'll record my audio from this end on Audacity. Uh, like you, Trevor, you record your audio and then you record your audio and then like uh, kind of slice them together. Yeah. And that's how you get the best, uh, the best quality yeah, audio. That- that's what we did every episode prior to this one, but I, I'm trying to see if this works as well. I'm sure it uh, will. If you're wearing headphones, it should work pretty well. Yeah, because like, yeah. I did a test recording earlier and it sounded good quality on both ends for like Ryan and I. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be it's beautiful. If it doesn't work. You're just like it's just gonna be like our two audios, and then your audio just not gonna be in there at all. It's like, all right, guys. <laughs> is, is the hour long yeah, episode we do with not? Yeah. <laughs> just a just a silence and like. No, I I can like see you guys' waveforms going up, so we're I'll all good. Cry. <laughs> you can see the wave waveforms. Yeah, there's like my audio then the desktop audio, so it's Fucking... it's pretty good. It's I can check my like I'm freaked out because I can check my heartbeat on my phone now, and my heartbeat is so low that it's like scary. Uh, Speaking of waveforms, I I, I was like, uh, there's this app called S Health, like Samsung Health. Mm-hmm. Am I like, oh, my heartbeat is hovering around 45 BPM. Oh shit. On the day, it should be like like I think average, low average, like average starts at 60 BPM. Yeah, mine's like normally 65, and I thought I was low. Like. Yeah, I'm like doing it right now. Wait. I'm sitting at 68. Cause my my girlfriend she tried it because I I was like is there something wrong with my phone but I knew I had low heart rate like but I, when I passed out in the movie theater a few years ago hmm. uh, I just randomly passed out in the movie theater because I ate too many vitamins gummy vitamins oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice that was a bad idea I was just fucking gobbing down those uh dummy or gummy vitamins and I was like ah eh, there's probably no vitamins in them they taste good. I had no other food in the house. And then I went to the movie theater and like, I stood up and uh, I woke up in an ambulance. And like, I think that was from the gummy vitamins. But um, 
they tested my heart rate and they're like, holy shit, it's fucking low. And I'm like, no worries. It's, always low. it's like, I know, that's not very interesting. I don't know why I was. The minimum low. I've got is like 58 BPM. Yeah. It's also cool, like, uh, have you ever just been able to, like, look at the sensor and, like, actually lower it or increase it just by focusing? With your sheer willpower? Yeah, dude. Holy shit. No? Because, like, I was I been, wish. I've been able to do that. I can just, like, like, I was working out the other day, and I was up at, like, 100, and uh, I just, like, soothed my breath, and I calmed down, and then it went down to, like, 70. And I yeah, would... I, I don't smoke weed very often mm -hmm. but once i did it and i got when i was like uh freaking out and i checked it and i was really freaking out this time on weed like i like when i take it I, I don't know it doesn't really make me feel that good so i don't really smoke weed but um this time i did and i just went down some weird fucking rabbit hole and i was like my heart was going so fast i could feel it so i whipped out the app and i was going at like 130 bpm i'm normally like 40 yeah <laughs> It was fucked up. Yeah, it gets scary when it gets up in those numbers. It's like I, thought I was going to. I was like, I love... oh, it's people were like, one. no one's ever died from weed, Nile. You'll be okay. But I'm like, <laughs> it's literally physical. Sim my heart is racing at an inhuman speed. It's physical symptoms. I might be the first person. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be the first person that died from weed. If anything, it'll just like guy. you'll just like pass out from weed, maybe. But like, I don't know. I think I did pass out. Yeah. And everything everything was good. Anyway guys, I got I gotta bounce because uh I need to go for that walk and start work before five thirty because that's when my schedule All right. Well thank you for thank you for coming on, dude. Yeah. No it problem, anytime right. guys. All right. Come back if you're ever stuck for anybody. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right. Alright, thanks, bud. Alright, see you Peace. later, man. Peace. 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 Peace